Welcome, good people. Today we have a haul. And yes, it is that haul. The haul that went missing. It got found and then delivered. Um, UPS customer services, pretty shite, um, to be honest. But it did get here in the end. Um, although it was delayed and it was late and it caused a great amount of angst and genuine terror and fear. Um, but it's got here in the end. So all's well that ends well. Kind of, kind of not. But anyway, um, it is time to unveil said haul. I've unboxed it and I've unboxed the perfumes. Even though I've got a tripod now, I still like to unbox them. That's like a little, little moment I have in private, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, so there is quite a few perfumes here. I don't know how many, but I did get 28 pieces in all, uh, cause some of them are backed up. Um, so I'll tell you which ones are backed up as we go through. In fact, there's one there that isn't backed up. Um, anyway, right. So where should we start? I'll tell you what, we'll start with this one because it's very awkward. This is the back of the package. This is Pasha de Cartier, a vintage one, and it's a recharge. Now, I also received this, which is like a metal hoo jar. Uh, but I think this might be a factice because the lid won't come off. And that's the bottom. And it just looks like the jaws of death. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to try, but I'll show you what this looks like. This is a vintage one. I haven't smelled it yet. I haven't smelled it for years. So I'm not going to go into the scents. I don't want to go into the scents. Into, like, I don't want to go too much into them. I'll do a little a little bit of describing on each one. There it is. Little dinky little. Yay. Little, little 50 mil thing. Lovely. Uh, you go back in the package there. Um, so I don't want to go into the sense because we'll be here for fucking hours and it'll take us ages to upload it so I can't, and I can't be asked. So the first one I received was Parfums Cartier Paris Pasha. Again, there's the front and there's this crazy little facty so I'll have to find somewhere to put this. I'll also have to, if anybody knows where I can find something to put this in, let me know. Or if you think that might actually work, let me know how to use it. But these these are like little metal prongs. These are not inviting. Um, I don't really want to put anything in there. Um, but yes, there we are. Look, it looks kind of... Look at it. Right. Anyway. Um, so there's that. There's one. Uh, next one is... Zanzibar by Van Cleef and Arpels. I know very little about this fragrance, um, except that you can't buy it anymore. It's discontinued. It's very rare, and it's made by Van Cleef and Arpels, which is nice. This lid is on very tight. Um, again, I'll be doing first impressions on these as we go. So there, just one last time. Van Cleef and Arpels Zanzibar. If you know anything about these fragrances, please let me know, uh, because most of them I'm unfamiliar with. Sort of. I'll tell you which ones I know as we go along. Vintage Arden for Men Sandalwood Cologne. This is sensational. I haven't smelled a vintage, but I have smelled a more like a more modern release. This is absolutely awesome. This smells like it's like a cologne, but obviously it's got the big sandalwood in the base and it's really high quality. It smells very good. It was pretty cheap as well, actually. Um but it's really nice. I'll be decanting a large amount of that. You can just imagine sticking that in um, in like a decanter and just carrying it around with you all day. Just, just reapplying all the time. Lovely. Um, Next one. What shall we pick next? I don't know. It's a Ferrari fragrance. But this is a vintage Ferrari fragrance before they started making crap Ferrari fragrances. Um, This is a Ferrari Cuvi. Eau de Toilette, never heard of it. Um, but I did see it and I did look at it and I thought, that looks interesting. It smells quite interesting. A little bit lavendery uh, in there. A little bit fresh, a little bit lavendery. So that's the, 
that's a vintage bottle of something called Ferrari Cuvier. You can't find that on Fragrantica because I tried to look it up, but I thought, sod it, that's really rare and strange and unusual, and it's exactly what I'm into. Um, so, yes, fantastic. What next? What should we do next? What we got? Here's another strange one. I got, by the way, I got that as a freebie. Didn't buy that. He threw that in. I was going to buy it, and then I said, no, take it out. I, I, like, to try and save weight, but then he put it back in anyway, so fair play to him. Here's another one. This is outrageous, right? I don't know if you can see what that's called, right? But it's called Rothschild Eau de Toilette. 81 degrees, maybe. Um, never heard of it. Never knew it. Apparently, they got cease and desist from the family because they used the name. Now, I don't know that. Um, but I can, you can, I mean, you can totally believe it. You know what I mean? Maybe wearing this, I'll become like a billionaire banker or something like that. I mean, I wouldn't mind being a quid behind them. You know what I mean? The Rothschilds are pretty, pretty well off. So this this came as like a freebie as well, which was really nice. I really appreciated that. Thank you very much. By the way, these are from Enchanté. God bless him and all who sail on him. He is a great man. Um, the something I have to say and shout outs to you and news because you're a fucking legend. Um, when the parcel went missing, he got on. He, 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 when the parcel didn't get scanned for a few days, he got onto UPS straight away. He was like, "Where the hell's my parcel?" Put in a claim, um, and they searched for it and they couldn't find it. Um, and we thought it was lost. And I was sitting over dinner on Wednesday, and it hadn't been scanned for ages. And we were doing more ends in, and if I had any hair, it would have fell out. And I said to him, "Look, a news mate, big loss." No shit. Big loss. Look, I'll send you some money. Like, it's no good this. This is like a large amount of perfume, as you will come to see. This is a large amount of perfume to lose. This is a big loss. We can't have this. I'll 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 send you some money. And he said, nope. He said, no, wouldn't wouldn't hear a word of it. Um he was like, This is business. We've lost out, I've lost out. Because he didn't declare the full amount. Um so he wouldn't have got the full amount back in um in compensation. So he wouldn't hear a word of it. And it was going to be a large loss as well. But then it turned up. So it's not to worry. But it shows the measure of the man. He's a great lad. Absolutely love him. And I trust him massively. Uh, still haven't paid for this haul. Uh, paying for it on Monday. So that shows, up, that shows him as well. Um, we've dealt together now. For a while, got to know each other, trust him totally. I would send him money and then just wait for the package to arrive. And he sends me the package and waits for it to arrive, make sure everything's fine with it. Um, and it's 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 really, really nice to have somebody like that. If you don't deal with people like that, I feel bad for you. Um it's really special. I'm really fun. I'm really glad I've got to know him and I got to try all these perfumes. So Anyway, we will move on um, after the Rothschild. We will go with this. This was recommended to me by Aram of Aram's Pocket Fame. And this is French Line by Revlon. This is meant to be outrageous. It's only a little there, uh, only a little 25 mil, but I bought four of them. So this is one of the ones I backed up. I also backed up Arden uh, because it was so cheap for a vintage and it still smells perfect. Never had a perfume from Enchanté that wasn't perfect. Um, but this is French line. I'm dying to try this to know what it's like. Um, made a little pop noise when I took the cap off the first time. So there, it smells lovely. So I'm very intrigued to try that. There you go, French line. All the bigger bottles are going to be right in front of the little bottles. I've dropped a bollock there. Anyway. Um, next, what will I choose? Next is this. Wall Street by Victor Duncan had told me about this before. Um, I don't know why I thought, well, that's doing on there. It should really be on there, shouldn't it? Uh, okay. There you go. Um, Wall Street by Victor. This is an outrageous vintage fragrance. I can't wait to try it. I might give this a spray, actually. Let's see what it's about. Oh, green, musty. Interesting. Quick little first impression there for you. Wall Street. All right, what's next? Aha! Character by Daniel Hector. 
This is another little vintage. This is just all he had was like a little 30 mil vintage. Um, so I picked that up. This is meant to be great as well. Somebody talked about this on the video the other day. And the name escapes us. And I totally forget that Wall Street's absolutely lovely. I can smell it in the air. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> it's not, it's totally out of fashion, that fragrance, but it's exactly what I love. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, yes, I'll be doing first impressions. I'll probably split them up and do first impressions on all of these at different times. I might be do, do them in bunches or something. Um, I think it was Jonathan telling me to get this actually by Daniel Hector. So cheers, John. Um, next. Right, I'm going to pull out an outrageous bottle next, right? This is Eau de Sport by Santos. This is a tester, I believe. It's got no lid anyway. But what's strange about this bottle, right? It's made of plastic. The bottle's made of plastic. Bonkers. I've never known anything like it. It must be like the type of thing that they must have thought, well, it must be like to go in like a bag, pet. There you go. She's like a Tamagotchi or something. I don't know. It's a pet. Um, yes, I do know what PET stands for. Thank you. Anyway, the uh, the Oda Sport, and I thought, well, you just can't find that. And I, it's, it's just a tester. It's like an outrageous, like, coming across that's absolutely mad. Um, so I thought, yes, I'm having that. That's, that's truly mental. Um, I can't believe it. Like, loads of these, I can't believe, like, I found them, you know? Like, really, like, feel very fortunate to have found them. But, again, these aren't all available on his website. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. These are, like, stuff that he's found, like, randomly lying around in, like, his warehouse, you know? That's why, like, the testers and stuff. Um, but, anyway, Santos de, Car Santos de Cartier Eau de Sport. Fantastic. Can't wait to try that. Um... Next, what shall I do? Where art thou? Right. I know I'm saving I'm saving these ones for last. Hold on. Right. Next one. The only time I've ever heard of this, and if it, if it hasn't been him, I wouldn't have bought it. The only time I've ever heard of this was on Scentland. And he said this is like a really strange, obscure, but important fragrance. I suggest you go and watch his review, but it's called The Baron. And Enchanté have got this. And I forget who it's by. Who are you by? LTL Fragrances. I think that's who distributes it. Um, cheap bottle. Uh, very floral. Very floral for men. Um, oh, it's on my hands. But it's it's interesting to have because of what it is. So I'm quite happy to own that. Oh, it's got goo down the side. I'll give that a quick wipe. Um... Go and watch Scentland's review of that and see what he said. He was glowing about it. It is very, very different and, and very interesting, you know? So I'm glad I had the opportunity to own this. And this was a freebie as well. Um, so, yes. Right. Another outrageous one. Aficionado Cologne, the cigar company, or the cigar brand um, I don't know if they actually make cigars, but this is meant to be like a cigar, you know, like just to give it a touch of that. Um, it's no Zaharoff cigar, but there we are. Well, Shrines, that's good. Um, let's have a smell of this. See what you smell like. Let's put you in the air. Climb it. <laughs> that's actually not bad, that. Um, I don't hate that at all, actually. That's quite, a, on first impression, that's an all right tobacco fragrance. It might fall apart later on, but just as like a quick first time I've ever smelled it. That's kind of like, I don't know if that's because I've got, today's scent of the day is uh, Leather Rude. And uh, I've actually also received a couple of other perfumes, which I might like show you. I got Fumery Turk um, in the in the purse, in the purse, in the post. So that's uh, that's lingering on my hand, but I didn't want to show that because it's not part of this particular haul. Um, oh, hello, everyone. Can you see he's waving in the bottle of uh, Ferrari? Anyway, um, 
we'll talk about them another time. I've got something else I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, so next, what shall I show you? I'll show you this. Another Chris from Scentland Fragrance that he introduced us to. Irish Mosh. This is the 4711 version. It's on the box, trust us. Um, this is beautiful. If you can get a hold of this, see if you can. Oh, it's, it's great. It's mossy. It's irishy. It's, it's irish moss. It's lovely. It's like a fresh cologne green, but with like that mossy sort of vibe as well. Not too citrusy. Um, absolutely beautiful. Right. Getting on to some more sort of big hitters here. Stuff you'll have heard of. Um, we'll go with this. I got a bottle of this. Now, you may think the sprayer on this looks a little bit strange, and that's because it does. This is a really old version. This is the original Cosme production. Um, and I don't just mean this is like a Cosme bottle. This is when it still had cologne, when it was the spray cologne. Obviously, if you look on a newer, on a newer vintage, they think this is a late 80s, early 90s version. This is the, can you see there? Erda Toilet. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know that's going to make it out for you. But yes, that's the Eau de Toilette. Um, this is the Eau de Cologne version, or the Spray Cologne version. So this is even older than that one. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm so chuffed to be able to own that. That's really old. I'm buzzing. Um, so yes, yeah, so it hasn't got a lid. Again, it's a tester. And sometimes if you want vintage fragrances, I've said this before, if you want vintage fragrances, you've got to be prepared to pay for a tester or just accept a tester. So next. Costume National Home. This is this is from the first, like when it was released. I don't know anything about this fragrance apart from that. I've heard of Costume National before. Um, and this is like from the first like batches of it when they first sent it out. I think it's a mid to late 2000s fragrance. It's meant to be really nice, but it was at a good price and it's not very easy to get anymore. Um, certainly not at this age. And he had it, so I thought, fuck it, I'll buy it. And uh, yes, I'm glad I did because it's fucking lovely. Um, yeah. I look forward to trying that. Next, I have... The original Lagerfeld photo made by Bethco, New York. So this will be in the early 80s, I would have thought. Maybe the mid-80s. Oh, it's got dust on it. Why are you dusty? It's been sitting in it. It's been sitting in the guy's uh, in the guy's warehouse for years. Don't know what this smells like, but I've heard of it. Um, and it will go well with my... Oh, I've just moved it over there. I've got the original spray cologne. So it'll go well with that. So there's two Lagerfelds. Lagerfelds. Lagerfelds is a good house. Like it's got some good stuff. You've got to remember the man was in charge of Chanel for like 40 odd years. You can't really, or 30 odd years. It was a long time. Um, if you listen to all the Chanelistas now, they're not happy with like the direction the brand's going in. But when you've had a monolith like... Carl Lagerfeld in charge of your brand for a long time. You know, it's going to take some getting over. Anywho, next we will go with these. You may have seen, well, you will have seen these. If you watch Eugene, Eugene bought all of the exclusives of this brand recently, but this is the original Pour Homme or the original Hom. What is it? What are you? Celine. Are you Celine Pour Homme or are you just Celine Hom? Shut up, Celine. Confusing is. That's the order toilet and that's the order parfum. Apparently, this was just completely pointless to release. Um, apparently, they smell exactly the same, except one's an order parfum, one's an order toilet. It was a money grab, the uh, guy on Chante says, and it was totally pointless to get. So, there we have it. Um, yeah. So, I'm glad to own them and I'm looking forward to finding out what they are like because you can't get these anymore. I'll put them over there next to Lagerfeld. Next, we're getting down to it. I've got two, three, five, six, six fragrances left to show you. I will show you this next. This is an 80s vintage of a 
Perial Cologne by Guerlain. And it smells it. And it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the new version's actually quite nice. This is just like, this is just like an older version of it. Like an older bottle of it. Um, and that bottle's absolutely outrageous. It's beautiful. Uh, no lid, unfortunately. But they are the 80s bottles of Guerlain. And they're absolutely stunning. Um, I've got... I thought I was getting a Shalimar off him, but I forgot that I, it was one of the fragrances I asked him not to put in. Um, so I might get the I might get the Shalimar version of this, or it could be in the same bottle. I can't remember if I think these were the, just the Cologne ones, and the eighties bottles of this were actually coming in this bottle, and that's a vintage Jitty by Guerlain. Beautiful. This is in an 80s bottle. Um, Jetty's quite nice. I wanted the Shalimar as well. I'm not sure about Mitsuko, but I'm thinking of getting it. I don't know that he's got Mitsuko, actually. Um, but it's, I'm just so pleased to be able to have these in these bottles that don't come in this. And I know they're in good condition. I don't need to spray this. I will spray this. Um... But I don't need to spray. This is what happens when you find someone you can trust. Very important. Very important. You can't, like, like you can't charge. You can't, like, put a, you can't put, like, a monetary value on trust. And I trust this bloke. So when, I, when, like, I know these have been stored properly. I just know they have. In his warehouse, in their boxes, in a cool, dark place. For years, that is all citrus, and it smells as fresh as the new one does. Um, I haven't. I've, I've, my friend's got one of these. Um, my friend has got one of these in the modern version, and I would very much like to compare them, just to see what they're like. Um, but anyway, we will move on because this is this is becoming a thick video. It's over twenty minutes, I think. Next, YSL Jazz. Prestige. That's rare. Hard to find. Can't get it anymore. Recommended to me by Ramsey, I think. Also, Live Jazz. Also, I think, recommended to me. And I got backups of both of these. Because um, they're only 50 mil bottles. Are you only 50 mil bottles? Yes. Yes, you are only 50 mil bottles. And look. Look what I've got. Which I also got from Enchanté. A big bottle of jazz. Uh, the original. That just, just feels light. With plastic bottles. Plastic bottles. Bongers. Stop that. Anyway. So, down to the last two fragrances. When I was on Eugene's stream, I may have also told you that this wasn't the only perfume disaster I had had this week. This haul going missing. Another perfume disaster I had was that I ordered a bottle of Boss Number no. 1 from Israel. And it took two weeks to arrive. And when it did arrive, I opened the package and lo and behold, it was not Boss Number no. 1. They had sent me Boss Element Aqua. Um, 50 mil. And I paid for 120 mils of Boss, Bo Boss No. 1. And I was gutted. I don't want Boss Element Aqua. Apparently it's quite nice and apparently it's very rare. Um, unfortunately for the shipper, the person who sent me it, I can't send it back because I live in England and it is illegal to ship abroad from England. Tough shit. I can't send it back. I want me money back. I don't want that fragrance. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. But, uh, yeah, don't send me the wrong perfumes. That wasn't uh, Enchanté's fault. Let's just make that clear. This is a completely separate issue. So, uh, yes, without Boss Number no. 1, I was. Fortunately, when I ordered this haul, I decided to back up that purchase and got it. And actually, when I did get it, I got it from Enchanté. He knows what I want. When I ask for something, I get it from him. Otherwise, he just says, no, I haven't got it. But this is it, Boss Number no. 1. It's so old, it hasn't got Number 1 written on it. That's how old this is. Um, Ramsey assures me this is one of the best pissy honey fragrances he's ever smelled. Let's have a smell just for you, Ramsey. Good. 
。おお<笑> Straight off the top, you get that like light animalic honey. Straight away, that is lovely. <laughs> it's kind of so far removed from what Boss is putting out now. That is fantastic. Um, I should have had two bottles of that, but no. Israel decided to send me a false promise. But anyway, I'm onto the last fragrance now. Yeah, that's really nice. Onto the last fragrance now, and it is one of the smallest, probably the second smallest bottle here. Um, and he could have easily overlooked this, but he didn't. And he did find it. And I am absolutely over the moon. It is a 30 mil of vintage derby. Not the eagle bottle, the gold cap one. But derby it is. And 30 milliliters is better than nothing. And I snapped that up at a very, very fair price. He didn't jack it up. None of these are jacked up to um, eBay prices. You know, these are all extremely, like, I got these, like, individually. I mean, I paid a lot of money for these, but not yet I haven't. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I'll, I've paid a lot of money for all of them, but there's a lot of fragrances here. But none of them individually I've paid a lot of money for. Very, very reasonable. Um, and that's my haul. That is the haul that went missing and then reappeared. Um, I am delighted. And now I have a huge problem of where to fucking put them. No idea what I'm going to do with these, all the backups. So, yes, thank you for sitting with us while I went through this haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. If you have any information on these fragrances, please let, her know, let me know. It would be greatly, greatly um, appreciated. Oh, P.S., I also received this in the post today, completely separate from Enchanté. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is a 25ml pewter cap of Eau de Hermes. Citruses and sweat. Cumin, citruses, Rudnitska. Beautiful. I've also got a 200ml coming from the man from Base Notes. Um, that should be arriving tomorrow, so I might do a little video. I might do a video on Fumery Turk, this, and uh, the Oda Hermes I'm getting tomorrow as well, just to, just to separate it out. But thank you very much. This time I will go. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.